will never sacrifice an operation or an incision for safety. But after all, you know, if we can make it less disfiguring, we try to make those incisions as small as possible, especially on women, and also as low as possible, so you can still wear a t-shirt if possible. Uh, one of the things, and this is very graphic and a little crude, but if you use staples, and there are times when staples are appropriate, especially abdominal surgeries, and there are times. But for ours, it's a nice clean wound, not under a lot of stress. We like to use nicer sutures. So let's say you had a big cut with staples pulling everything together. Staples are going to leave marks and they're going to hurt coming out. Although not a lot, but they're going to be a little bit sore coming out. Whereas, now let's say you can bury the sutures underneath the surface. So they're all buried, they're underneath the surface. The line, you can get sometimes a very fine line depending on how well you heal, where all you see at the end of our operation is a very nice line and these sutures dissolve on their own so there's nothing to remove. And that's just one of these other things that we think about because the most important part of the operation is the operation. But as the patient, you have to see it forever. And so if we can make that as good as possible, we like to do that. But it is not an unreasonable question to say to your doc, what kind of incision is it going to be and what can we do to minimize it? Can we make this as cosmetically appealing as possible? And um, that's important. You know, of course, you're not going to sacrifice your life for it, but you do have to live with the scar forever. And we can, if we can make it a little bit better looking, why shouldn't we?